<laughs> you know, uh, this is old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken. Yes, we're getting ready for the 4th of July, or as we think of it as Independence Day. Yeah, see, we decided to do it a little bit different. But we do it in the kitchen or we do it green screen. This time we do it in the fireplace. This is like fireside chat. This is our fireside like chat because we, because we got a brand new one that I put together early this morning on the 4th of July that's not been done before, which is, which means we're getting a lot of revisionist history in the last year or so. Hmm. But um, Independence Day is commonly, uh, I know, <laughs> commonly known as the 4th of July as a federal holiday. The United States commemorating the adoption of the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776, declaring independence from the Kingdom of Great Britain. Independence Day is commonly associated with fireworks, parades, barbecues, carnivals, picnics, concerts, baseball games, family and political speeches, uh, in addition to various other public and private events celebrating the history, government, and tradition of the United States Independence Day. Is, uh, is actually it's the one major national day that we have uh, others which are Memorial Day and Labor Day, but this is actually really the major day for our country is the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. And I always think of it, it's, it's the, party, the party weekend usually yeah. um, for the 4th, you know, we think of fireworks and barbecues and parades and all that stuff. The 4th this year, as you know, is on a Thursday, yeah. which means... It, this party started last weekend is really, I mean, they were over by where I lived, they were setting fireworks off from, um, from because the places, you can't do it during the, during the week, so they were setting things, they held their celebrations on Sunday. I know, and week. I hadn't even thought about that. We had lots of extra traffic. Well, I know. So there'll be some, there were like the last weekend before the 4th, some after the 4th, and some during the 4th. If you go to some place like Disneyland, yeah. they do it. Well, actually, they do it every night during the summer, yeah. but especially during the 4th. But there's also 4th of July celebrations at places like the Queen Mary yeah. or a, a baseball stadium. Or a Hollywood Bowl. And, yeah. The Playa del Rey is going to, Marina del Rey will have its traditional one, which actually you can see it from a distance. I've been there. What I did was I parked my car and I walked over so I'd get a better view of Bob. I, got, I, I had to see boats sinking, which I thought was funny. What did you see? Well, row. Oh, the boats were, okay, they, they got a lot of boats that should never be in the water for that celebration. They fire, they shoot fireworks off of them. I saw one of them catch fire one day. Well, the thing was covered with all kinds of tiki stuff, which, and they, fire, they were firing bottle rockets off, so. And during the American Revolution, the legal separation of the 13 colonies from Great Britain occurred on July 2nd. Oh. Well, I know. It's just the 4th of July is an arbitrary day that was picked. No, the, it's the 4th of July is when they signed it. I know, but it actually didn't get signed on the 4th of July because I am a history person. Yeah. That's, uh, the, the 4th of July was when they actually uh, uh, started the signing of the process. I think it was like the 6th or 7th before they actually finished it. Oh, because they weren't all in one place? They wanted everybody to sign. They wanted, a, they wanted the signatures all on it at the same time, and they didn't all get it on it at the same time. Oh, if so... If you pay attention, some of the people didn't show up until the 6th. So this picture of all of them gathered together signing the Declaration of Independence? It, it is, a, it is a, a real picture, but the problem is it didn't happen on exactly the 4th. Um. Okay, but on July 2nd, they, um, the Second Continental Congress voted to approve a resolution of independence that had been proposed in June by Richard Henry Lee of Virginia declaring the U.S. independent from Great Britain. Hmm. And that's the father of Robert E. Lee. Oh, it is? Yeah, that's, that's Light Horse Harry, one of, that, you know, one of the great Revolutionary War leaders. His family, Robert E. Lee's family helped found this country and then he joined an org a group to destroy it, which they thought was amazing. His father would have been ashamed of him. After voting for independence, Congress turned its attention to the Declaration of Independence, a statement explaining this decision which had been prepared by the Committee of Five with Thomas Jefferson as its principal author. Congress debated and revised the wording of the Declaration, finally approving it on July 4th. Yeah, that's when it was approved. Oh. Mm -hmm. A day earlier, John Adams had written to his wife Abigail. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, it, it ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade with shows, games, sports, guns, belts, and such and such. Uh, said, um, I'm apt to believe it was celebrated successfully by generations as the great anniversary festival, which many. He was thinking of making money, folks. That's all he was thinking. Oh, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, it, what people understand is that. Um, 
uh, if you go see the movie 1776, you're going to get a close idea to what actually happened. Thomas Jefferson wrote the whole thing. He got ideas from other people. Thomas Jefferson was a grand thinker. He took a little bit from here, a little bit from there, a little bit from there. And they say, well, when he said all men are created equal, he, he meant all men were created equal but slaves who weren't actually American citizens. See, that's the whole trick. He meant the people that were born in the country are coming in. Aaron Goodwin, it had to do with coming here legally. What? Slaves were not brought into the country. Slavery was illegal, folks. They were brought into the country illegally, and so therefore slaves were not allowed to vote until the Civil War. Mm -hmm. but that's when they were made citizens. They weren't citizens. So, oh, oh, does that say anything like about what we're doing now? I know. It's like they weren't allowed to vote until they were citizens. Yep. Hmm. And they weren't legally citizens until the until the Emancipation Proclamation set them all free. Hmm. There were people that did like the illegal aliens. They voted when they weren't supposed to be voting. I think that always happens. Yeah, doesn't it? but yeah. that's when they needed their vote. They were important. If they didn't need their vote, they didn't need them. Hmm. So Adams' predictions was off by two days because um, Americans celebrated Independence on July fourth because that was the date that was shown on the Declaration of Independence rather than on July 2nd, on the date it was actually approved. Or July 6th, when everything was really all signed. <laughs> I know that's a good one. Well, it's actually, if you sign it, it's the 2nd, the 6th, the 4th is right in the middle. So they, they split the difference for the books. Uh -huh. now, like here it said, uh, and it said, historians have long, uh, you know, uh, been disputed where they actually signed it on the July 4th, even though Thomas Jefferson Adams and Benjamin Franklin all wrote that they had signed it on that day. That it was actually signed by everyone a month after its adoption, not on July 4th. That's what I said. That the sixth is when the majority of the people signed it, but uh, that picture that they put together actually did not happen for a while. Yeah, um, and they're saying that some think that it might have occurred as um, August 2nd. Yep. But uh, in, in a remarkable coincidence, Jeff, Adams and Jefferson, the only signers of the Declaration of Independence, later to his presidents. Died the same day, July 4th, 1826, the 50th anniversary of the Declaration. Although not a signer of the Declaration of Independence, but another founding father who became President James Monroe died on July 4th in 1831, becoming the third President of Roe who died on this holiday. Calvin Cooley, the 30th President, was born on July 4th and is the only President to have been born on that day. That but I think it's really odd, I mean, that you have. Look at this, you've got three presidents that died on July 4th. They were all involved with the, the birth of this yeah. nation. From 1826 to 1831. Yeah. yeah, and then you've got Honest Cal who was born on the 4th. So it was, um, I think... Calvin Coolidge, would you call him Honest Cal? Yeah, well because he was a little, I mean this guy was like this, he was a college professor that never oh. got over. I got, in 1825, uh, an 1885 independent, uh, invitation to Independence Day celebration in 1777. Thirteen gunshots were fired in salute once in the morning and once again in the evening. Uh, fell on July 4th in Bristol, Rhode Island, Philadelphia. Celebrated the first anniversary in a manner a modern world would find kind of familiar. <laughs> boom, 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 the overture of 1812, folks. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, but that's what they use today. So they uh, official actually celebrated first in a manner of modern day. An official dinner for the Continental Congress. Thirteen guns, salute, speeches, prayers, music, and stuff. But they still were doing the boom, 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 boom. boom. The overture of eighteen twelve was coming, but they were actually playing the the stuff that led up to it. That's people don't realize the overture of eighteen twelve was done in the century before. Hmm. They just sort of it added to canon because it had to do with the, the we 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 wanted the War of 1812, so they sort of created their own overture to go with the stock piece of music. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Um, George Washington in 1778 marked the Fourth of July with a double ration of rum for his Ooh. soldiers and the military salute. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, <laughs> we like the boom, booms. I I was in mili I, I on reserve duty and. Uh, 1976, and I had uh, Cynthia there with me, and I, 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 I did a, tw we, I, we, uh, planes flew over the carriers, and we did 21 gun salutes, but we fired, uh, the, the ships were firing broadsides, and we were firing our cannons off, you know, we had boop, boop, 
funny, you know, that basically looked like you had to be there in, in 1976 to see what, but we spent so, so much money was spent by the military. Oh, really? Thing. Well, it was what, the two, the Bicentennial? Bicentennial, yeah. yeah. It's one of those things that people, if you got to see it. That must have been magnificent. Oh, God, they were broadsized by Navy vessels that day. Wow. I mean, it just, it, it, it is dark, and they basically used the old ammunition, which was not, modern cannons are smokeless, so to make it look good, they, they are, we used tracer bullets because you wanted to fire, you wanted everything to be seen. With the machine, with the cannons being fired, the, the uh, naval vessels were using uh, uh, using the old canisters that had that made lots of smoke. So when they went, ah, and then they had lights on the ships so you could see, you know, great the, presentation. Yeah, it was like done by a motion, like a movie company. Mm -hmm. But um, basically, in seventeen seventy nine, it fell on a Sunday, which was not celebrated until the fifth, which is that started to practice a week of it happening during the week. So. Well, I think they just did it so they got a day off. Yeah. Already in 1779. Yeah, in 1781. Actually, they went more by uh, the ho the Sundays. Yeah, but it's 81, the Massachusetts General Court became the first legislator to recognize as an official holiday. In 83, Moravians in some North Carolina held a celebration of the 4th which, with a challenging music program assembled by Johann Frederick Peter. The work was entitled The Song of Joy. Ninety-one, the first uh, recorded use of the name Independence Day occurred. Um, they, I just saw a horrible movie the other day called Independence Day Disaster. What? That sounds bad. Really bad, yeah. In 1870, the U.S. Congress made Independence Day an unpaid holiday for federal workers, and 38 Congress changed Independence Day to a paid federal holiday. Now we get into our customs, which is a really neat thing. Oh, of course. Okay, so you see us wearing the hat and yeah. the glasses. And swimsuits and shorts and, you know, we'd, we'd like to do this at the beach, but unfortunately we really don't make it. get to the beach. We go back to customs again. I know she had oh, a problem I pressed, with my computer. I pressed the wrong one. I know. She, my computer is set for me, but she, she hates my computer. Well, it's set for you. I know. They go get thumbs. There you go. Okay. Talk. So the customs, everybody associates the 4th of July with fireworks, 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 <laughs> yes. Um, but in addition to it, for example, it's different places like Miami lights one of its tallest buildings with the patriotic red, white, and blue color scheme on Independence Day. New, New York City's fireworks display shown above over the East Village is sponsored by Macy's and it's the largest in the country. That's one of the ones that's on television that I always record yeah, over here. Yeah, you sit there and watch it. Um... Yeah, it is magnificent. Oh, the yeah. one in New York and Boston. Yeah, I mean, they basically go, Boston pops loves the 1812 overture. <laughs> I love it! Yeah, and at, at, at in, in Washington, D.C., there are fireworks display and cannons go off for about 15, 20 minutes also. Really? Yep. And Independence Day is a national ho holiday, of course, marked by patriotic displays. Similar to other summer-themed events, the well, it takes place outdoors, right? Yeah. So it's a federal holiday, so all non-essential federal institutions close. Yeah, yeah. Um, many politicians make it a point on this day to appear at a public event to praise the nation's heritage, laws, history, society, and people. So we shall see. Yeah. Because well, I don't know about you, but all the holidays don't seem to have as much of an importance as they used oh, to have. Okay, but this year, because of, of the uh, illegal immigrations, they have simply been, they, part, people on both parties have been told not to go home for the holidays because they don't want to hear what the constituency has to say and that's something. Uh -huh. So you'll see them, I'm guessing you're going to so, see a lot more politicians than usual at the National, uh, mm -hmm. National Celebration of Washington, D.C. That way they can hide out from people. They can hide out from their constituencies. Yeah. yeah. So families often celebrate by hosting a picnic or attending a barbecue, take the day off. Basically, just gather long weekend to gather with relatives. Yeah, Monty was famous for her 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 for her uh, Super Bowl and Fourth of July parties that she would give. I mean, the bitches would come over and join, and she'd serve them, you know, aged kibble and aged bones and lots of kibble swill. Oh. She had a really good time. So everybody's familiar with celebrations on the Fourth of July with fireworks and barbecues and all of that. But also, I didn't know that the night before the 4th was a focal point of many celebrations. 
because they can't, um, okay, well, here's one we ran into. Also bonfires at the centerpiece. We, we were picking up her swimsuit the other day, brand new swimsuit. We saw on one of the streets, celebrating the 4th of July, she'll only be allowed between 12, uh, 12 and 1 p.m. I know, 12 and 1 p.m. One hour you can celebrate. For one hour during the freaking middle of the day? Yeah, in the hottest part of the day, you're, you're allowed to celebrate. So, so pay attention to your local ordinance. I know growing up, my dad always said, what? It's, it's our heritage. We're Chinese. Yeah, well, my family, we used to own prop, we used to own um, a truck farm over in Culver City. My father was a police officer. And, and what would happen was on the 4th of July, because we had the biggest place, all the police officers would come over and blow the damn place up. I mean, with bottle water. I mean, we had real bottle water. 